Hi beautiful, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be trying out a bunch of overhyped TikTok makeup that I have been finding out. It is mostly or all actually drugstore makeup, very affordable. I have not tried it yet. I don't know what the outcome is going to be, but I am very excited to try all of these products because everybody on TikTok seems to love them. If you guys are excited for the video, don't forget to please give it a thumbs up before you leave. Also, if you're new here, my name is Patty. Welcome to my channel and I would love it if you subscribe before you leave. Thank you all so much for being here and let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'm here to admit that I fell down the TikTok rabbit hole and I fell hard, okay? I have been watching all of these makeup videos on TikTok and there's a few products that keep coming up over and over and over again and I haven't tried them yet so I am here to tell you whether or not these products are actually worth it or if it's all hype because nobody on TikTok does like an actual throw review because you know a short amount of time but I want to take you guys through like the whole application how I feel about it and whether or not these products are actually worthy of the hype they get I'm very excited to say that for the most part these are pretty affordable products and so first of all let's do a makeup haul. I went on a mission to find all of these products but trust me when I tell you your local places probably don't have them just like my local places didn't have a lot of what I was looking for. I had to get alternative colors, I had to get creative with it because the products just actually aren't available um, when you walk into the store, at least that was my experience. I went to like four different places and I was able to get them all, but you'll see what I'm talking about in a second. So first things first, we have this right here from NYX. This is the NYX, the Marshmallow Primer. And this is made with Marshmallow Root. A lot of people are raving about this one because it's hydrating, but it also blurs your pores. So I feel like it might be a little bit of a dupe for my favorite, the Liquid Silk Canvas by Tatcha. And I'm here to put this to the test. Now, of course, this just wasn't readily available um, anywhere near my house. So I ended up finding it at Target, but it was opened. For the sake of this video, I bought it. <laughs> I bought it open, you guys. Um, I thought about it and thought about it, but it has a pump. So it's not like, you know, people would have like touched the inside of the product or anything like that. They just probably put some in the back of their hand to see how it felt. This was the only one that was available anywhere around my house. So I just went ahead and went for it. I'm of course going to have links to all of these products down below at the places where I find that they have the most stock available slash the most colors of the product available so that you guys don't have to go through what I went through. The other thing I found at Target was this right here. This is the Elf Camo CC Cream. I meant to try this when it first came out and I don't know what happened. I ended up forgetting, never got to it. And this is something else that is so hyped up on TikTok. A lot of people are loving it. And so, of course, I want to try it and tell you guys how it works on my dry skin. The color I got it on was the color 210 Neutral, which I think I might have gotten lucky and that this might actually work for me because there wasn't a lot of options in the store. Something else that was a huge mission was this mascara here from Maybelline. This is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Sky High Mascara. This is sold out in the regular black. It's just sold out everywhere. I could not find it. So I ended up getting the... Oh, shit. This is waterproof. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. I got the waterproof, whatever, and did not mean to do that. And I also got it in the brown black because the black was just not available. So brownish black and waterproof. Not ideal, but I really wanted to try this product because, again, what I'm seeing on TikTok is just some pretty ridiculously fabulous lashes and I really wanted to see if this was actually all that. Okay, this was a little bit less of an issue. I actually saw it in stock at a couple of my local stores. I think Target, Ulta, and Walgreens too. They all had it. And that is the NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen. And I got it in the um, black shade. I'm excited to try this because I've never tried a drugstore brow pen. So we'll see how it does. The NYX, the brow glue, 
this is impossible to find I ended up getting super lucky at my local Ulta that the girl was nice enough to go to the back of the store and she said this was the last one they had this was impossible to find anywhere it was sold out everywhere I'm super thankful that she knew that they um, had one in the back and she sold it to me now if you guys are ever on the TikTok app I know you've seen someone talking about this stupid powder this is the L'Oreal infallible 24 hour fresh wear powder also fully impossible to find my local Walgreens had a hidden corner like an end cap that wasn't even like in the makeup section that had a few of these and I think I got so lucky I got mine in the color vanilla which again I think this actually might work so we'll see I have one more product to show you but because I have two different foundations and this is supposed to be used as a powder foundation not as a setting powder I might have to do this video in two different days I know for sure I want to try this elf camo CC cream today so maybe we'll try some of this over top of it but also I'm going to do a whole separate try for this tomorrow to see how it works on its own on me last but not least don't even try don't even try to find the <laughs> the NYX double-ended um, lipsticks anywhere these are called I believe the shine loud high shine lip color I didn't mean to buy these two things I think this comes maybe with like a lip liner in there and I also did not mean to buy a purple lipstick but it is what it is this is that sold out that like this was the best I could do <laughs> Basically, no store had these. They were fully sold out everywhere. The Ulta by my house had an empty display of them, and I ended up having to choose between this purple lipstick or, like, a super bright pink. I went for the purple. The main thing about this lipstick that I want to try is the formula, so it's okay that it's purple, and I'm really hoping I can make it work. <laughs> this is not necessarily overhyped on TikTok. My friend Andrea Renee always uses them and talks about them, so I've been wanting to try them for a while. Okay, I guess I have one more thing. I also bought this Dr. Browner's All-in-One Hemp Lavender Pure Castile Bar Soap. I bought two of them to wash my sponges and my brushes. The other one is currently in my bathroom and I washed all of my brushes and sponges last night and they are so clean. This worked really nicely, so I found this at Target. Okay, first things first, let's try these eyebrow products. This is the Brow Glue by NYX. I am so intrigued. Let's see what this is all about. I'm going to just brush it through my hairs. Ooh, okay, okay. I'm gonna go in with this spoolie just cause my spoolie is a little harder and my brow hairs are no joke. I'm applying it with this little spoolie and then I'm just kind of combing it through with my big one. <laughs> so far so good, so far so good. What do you guys think? I'm impressed so far. All right, let's do this one. And I have had to go back and dip back into it quite a few times. But again, my eyebrows are super hard to lift. So I'm actually really surprised this is working at all. All right, we can actually say that these brows are lifted. I'm very impressed so far. The next thing we're going to try is the NYX The Brow Tint Pen. And this one looks like it's retailing for $11.00 pretty much everywhere across the board again and so this is what mine looks like and this is what the swatches of my black one look like which they don't look very black at all for reference the swatches at the bottom are the swatches of my Anastasia brow pen which is my favorite okay let's just go for it okay it is doing something it is filling out my eyebrows I'm going to clean around them with a little bit of concealer and I'll be right back to like retouch them if I need to I cleaned around them with concealer and I'm going to just make sure that they are staying where I want them. So the good thing about this teeny tiny brush is that I can now go back and like make sure everything stays in place. And I'm going to continue applying this brow pen. Just I want to darken everything a little more. Okay this is as good as it's going to get. I'm really hoping they do not continue to fall. I will say this is like the strongest brow gel I've ever tried but it's still not quite as strong as like my Anastasia Brow Freeze or the Brow Wax by Patrick Ta. Now let's get into complexion. So first things first, we are going to try the Marshmallow Primer from NYX. I'm going to pump some right here. 
and just put it on my face. I did have moisturizer on my face already. Oh my God, it smells <laughs> so good. It is a little bit thinner than the Liquid Silk Canvas and it feels a bit more hydrating right away. The Liquid Silk Canvas feels a little bit more like pasty. However, I do really like the way that it's making my skin look. I do agree that it makes my pores look diminished and I really like the hydration of it. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of really loving this. Okay, time to try the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. This has an SPF of 30, it's got collagen, peptides, and niacinamide. Wow, really impressive. Again, I got the shade 210 Neutral. Let me pump some of this right here on the back of my hand. And I finally get to use this big ol' Sunny Akashic sponge, so let's get to it. Okay, this color, perfect for me. If you're curious about this sponge, it's firmer and bigger than a beauty blender, but so far so good. Look at that coverage. The color is absolute perfection for me, I have zero complaints about it, and the coverage is amazing. You can definitely tell I didn't apply it well. <laughs> Okay, beautiful medium coverage, natural to glowy finish, which is why you can see the reflection on the camera so much. And it has that SPF of 30, so wow, I'm, I'm impressed with the CC cream. I really liked it. I also really love that NYX primer. You can see how like my pores look very diminished underneath my foundation. For concealer, I didn't have anything that was super hyped up on TikTok, so I'm going to use my... Pure Cosmetics 4-in-1 Sculpting Concealer. It's called the Push Up Concealer. They sent me both of these shades last week and I've been actually using them combined and I really love the concealer and the look of both shades. So I'm going to start by using the darker one which is the color LP4 and they have this amazing packaging where you just like press a button and it opens, so cool. So I'm going to do a darker color right on top of like where my dark circles are the worst. And then I'm going to use the lighter color around that. By the way, I completely forgot we were talking about prices. This NYX primer I did mention is $17 and the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream is retailing for $14. I'm blending out the concealer underneath my eyes and I wanted to tell you guys that this pure concealer has anti-aging properties to it. It's the only concealer on the market with encapsulated retinol on it. If you guys don't know, retinol is an ingredient that actually helps diminish fine lines and wrinkles. So you are not only putting concealer on, but you're like treating the lines around your eyes, which is so freaking cool. The lightest shade of concealer that I use, by the way, is the LG3. I'm setting everything with my Hourglass Loose Powder, which I haven't used in so long in a video especially. And I'm just powdering the center of my face with the sponge. Let me go ahead and show you lights down what everything is looking like. You guys can see, like I'm not kidding, like this stuff looks so good. You can see where I didn't powder versus where I did powder. And everything just looks really nice. Next, I'm going to try this L'Oreal Pressed Powder um, on the places like around where I didn't set with translucent powder. I have my Sigma F80 here and I'm going to apply it with it. I got so lucky with the colors of the powder and foundation being available in my shade. I cannot complain. Okay, so far on top of my makeup, that actually looks really nice. It's just kind of setting everything in place and this color vanilla is my right color for sure. So as like a finishing powder slash setting powder, it works really nicely, but tomorrow we'll try it out just on top of primer on its own and see if it actually works like that as well as they are saying that it does. I lowered the light again so you guys can see like what changed. And basically right here is just no longer um, shiny like it was so I fully finished setting everything we have two things left to try the mascara everybody is obsessed with and the transfer proof lipstick from NYX I'm going to do my eyeshadow bronzer blush and highlighter and I'll be right back and we'll test these two I went ahead and used my bronzer blush and highlighter trio from Marc Jacobs on my face and I used an eyeshadow palette on my eyelids that, as you can see, had hella fallout because I cannot get rid of it on my cheeks, which is just very unfortunate. 
I'm going to try and see if I can like take it off with a little bit more of the translucent powder. <laughs> this is a little bit upsetting, I'm not going to lie, but it is what it is. They're still there. Whatever. Just move past that for me, please. <laughs> um, time for the Lash Sensational Sky High Mascara. I am so excited for this. This right here is what it looks like. And this is what the wand looks like. I am so excited. I'm really hoping I'm not going to make a huge mess. Let's see. On the TikTok videos I've been watching, they do three coats and they look like they have like these insane lashes. So of course I'm going to try and do that as well. If things go to plan, I should look like I have fake lashes on by the time we're done applying this mascara. By the way, the brown black color is not bad. It's like a soft black, I would say. I like it. Okay, this is two coats, maybe one and a half coat because the first one wasn't too nice, but so far, so good. And of course, I'm getting it all over my eyeshadow because that always happens. Let's do the third one. I finished my third coat and I'm doing my bottom lashes. Okay, I tried to do a fourth coat, but like not much more was happening, so I stopped. And let's now go ahead and make myself even. Okay, I'm back and this mascara is now fully applied. What do you guys think? I personally think that, well, it did work wonderfully because it builds up really nicely. It's not my favorite style of lashes. These are like a little bit too straight, a little bit too thick at the tip. I love it when my mascara gives me a ton of length and volume but it is more like tapered where my lashes look a little bit fluffier. However, this did give me massive volume and length. It just didn't separate my lashes as much as I usually love to. Okay, last but not least, I'm kind of like questioning myself with this one. I really wanted to try a color that was a little bit more natural looking, but this was literally all they had, so purple it is. The deal with this lipstick is basically that you apply it, let it dry for two minutes, and then it has a gloss on the other side. And it's not going to transfer onto anything, so it's really nice to be able to wear underneath your mask. Kind of like the double-ended lipstick by Chanel that I absolutely love. Okay. I'm scared. <laughs> oh my god, it's so purple. We're doing this for the formula, you guys. Okay, so I guess you kind of have to keep your mouth open while this dries because really sticky. <laughs> I keep waiting for it to like dry and stop being sticky, but I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> I'm still really um, fucking sticky as you can see. Should I do the test before the gloss? It is not transferring. This right here is mascara. Not, not transferring, so that part is true, but now we know why we need this gloss because like that is ridiculous. <laughs> okay. Much better already. After you put on this gloss, which actually feels more like an oil than a gloss, this feels so much better. I also really like the shine that it adds to your lipstick, but you definitely need to like keep it hydrated with this gloss because it is so sticky otherwise. With the gloss, by the way, still doesn't transfer. I mean, the gloss transfers, but not like the color of the lipstick. And you know we would see because we are currently wearing dark purple lipstick. <laughs> I'll see you guys in a second, which for me will be tomorrow, and we'll try this L'Oreal powder foundation all over the face without a base underneath it to see how it performs. Once we try that tomorrow, I'll tell you guys my final thoughts on all of the products that we tried. Overall, so far, this video has been so much fun to make, so I'll see you guys in a second. It's the next day and I'm back to try this infallible foundation on its own. I have my eyebrows done. I did them differently this time and we're going to be talking about that in my final thoughts in the video. And then besides moisturizer, I did go ahead and apply my marshmallow primer again, which I'm still loving. So let's go ahead and finally go for this. I'm going to apply it with the sponge that it brings because why not? Let me go ahead and grab my product from here. Let's go ahead and do this. Oh my God, that looks 
so dry right away what the hell okay on top of foundation yesterday and putting very little of it it did work really nicely but applied with this sponge thing absolutely not here's what i'm going to do i'm going to go back to the brush that i used yesterday and see if that like helps it look any better i'm going to apply it just with the brush on this side by applying less of it absolutely not should I even keep going? Oh, from far away it looks okay. Let me just keep going, because why not? We're already here. Let's just do this. It just doesn't spread. Like, wherever I place it, it stays there. When I put a little bit too much right here at first, it just, like, stays there, and it doesn't want to, like, spread out or blend out. Same thing happening on my forehead here. So you just kind of have to apply more and more and more, and then it just doesn't look that great maybe if you have oily skin this would work better but my skin was really hydrated before i put this on and i've used powder foundations before that i've liked like the one by bare minerals their powder compact works even if you have dry skin and again i don't even know if it's a dry skin oily skin thing because my skin was so hydrated when i first applied it look at this texture you guys see that right like that is just not blending right <laughs> look at here wow let me collect my thoughts I'm going to finish up this makeup I'm going to leave it on hopefully once I put bronzer on like it'll look a little better um we'll see I'm going to collect my thoughts like I said and I'll be right back with my makeup finished and I'll tell you guys my final thoughts on everything that I tried I'm back with the super crusty foundation on there was nothing I could do to fix it let me lower the light and show you guys like up close so you can see like all the texture Oh my god, yeah, you can really see it there. <laughs> Anyways, let's go through everything that I tried in the order that I tried it. So let's start with the NYX Brow Glue. I feel like this is going to be really good for most people, but it wasn't good for me personally. I have truly stubborn eyebrows. It took me a really long while to like make it work and having products like my Anastasia Brow Freeze, here it is, I was looking for it, it's just not really worth it to like struggle as much as I had to struggle to make this one work and it didn't even work as well as my bra freeze works. This is back in stock at Ulta, I'll leave you a link down below. And it's actually what I'm wearing today, I know that you can notice the difference between yesterday and today. And the cool thing about today is that I did actually use my NYX brow pen with my brow freeze and now I really do like this brow pen, I do think it is worth it. Again, the brow glue, I feel like it'll work for a lot of people, but if you have truly stubborn eyebrows like I do, I wouldn't go for this one. I would go for the brow freeze. It's much easier to use. It leaves your eyebrows in place right away, and so this is definitely going to be what I recommend. As far as the NYX brow pen, I had much better of an experience with it today because I feel like what was happening yesterday is I lifted my brows, and then as I was applying the little strokes with the pen my eyebrows were like falling and i had to keep going back and adding more because my eyebrows were falling which left gaps on my eyebrows if that makes sense but today i used the brow freeze and the brow pen and i had a much better result and it was so much faster to use it so this brow pen was definitely a win I used the black shade, which is not black, it's like a really dark brown, and I really like the end results. So I'm not gonna say that this is like better than my Anastasia brow pen because I really love that one, but it's definitely a more affordable alternative. So if you're on a budget, I think this is going to be a really good product for you to have. But I would get the brow freeze because you get so much product in here anyways, this is going to last you forever, so I think this is worth every penny. The next thing I tried was the Marshmallow Primer from NYX, and Oh my god, I think this is the best product that I tried in this video. Hands down, I absolutely loved this primer. I'm going to continue to use it. This is a much more affordable alternative to the $56 the Liquid Cell Canvas. It's not an exact dupe for it. I don't want to say that because it's not. This is a little bit more liquidy, but it hydrates my skin and it hides my pores, which is the same thing that the Liquid Cell Canvas does, and it is a fraction of the price. This is $17 versus $56. I feel like $17 sounded like a little expensive for like a drugstore makeup primer. However, after I saw how this performs, I think it's worth every penny, and I absolutely loved it, so I think that you guys definitely need to try this one. 
I ended up wearing my e.l.f. camo CC cream throughout the rest of the day yesterday and I did really love it. I'm going to show you a picture of me here. This was at the end of the night and the only thing that I could notice was that it did crease a little bit right here in the line that I have next to my mouth. Just a little tiny bit, but I did notice the little crease. So definitely keep that in mind. But overall, I really like the performance of this. Really beautiful, natural finish, medium to full coverage, very long lasting. It looked really good throughout the whole day. It didn't get too dry on my dry skin. I was so impressed with this e.l.f. camo CC cream. And if you guys have been wondering about it or wanting to try it, I definitely recommend that you go for it because you're probably going to really like it. Next, let's talk about the elephant in the room, the L'Oreal Infallible 24-Hour Fresh Wear. This is an easy, hard pass for me. You guys saw how dry this looks on my skin, so I'm not going to be wearing this one anymore. Yesterday, I used it on top of this foundation, and it actually looked really good. So if you're someone who likes to add coverage to their foundation with a foundation that is like a full coverage on top, then definitely give it a try because I did think it wore really beautifully on top of the e.l.f. CC Camo foundation. However, by itself, I would not do it because it just looks so dry and it's so hard to blend and so patchy. No. The Sky High Mascara from Maybelline looked good, but I didn't wear it today. Instead, I wore my Pat McGrath Dark Star Mascara so that you guys can see the difference in my lashes. Look at how my Dark Star Mascara enhances every single hair so my eyebrows look a lot fluffier and they still look really long and thick and dramatic, but just not as like straight and spidery as this one made my lashes look. So I definitely love my Pat McGrath Dark Star Mascara the best. And this one I know is a little bit on the pricier side, but Pat McGrath is having a side-wide 25% off sale right now. I'm going to leave you links down below. I absolutely love this mascara and I think you all should have it because it is that amazing. Um, besides that, I really love her foundation, her palettes, her concealer, her under eye setting powder. Oh my god. You guys know I'm obsessed with Pat McGrath, so definitely check out the sale. Um, but I wanted to show you that this mascara is the bomb and why even though this one did make a huge difference yesterday because it did give me a lot of length and volume, I don't prefer it because it's just kind of like a different style in lashes. I feel like this one just kind of clumped my lashes together a little bit too much. Now, last but not least, the purple lipstick. You guys know I bought this in purple just for the purposes of trying out the formula. And besides the stickiness, I did really love the formula. It is very long staying. I struggled to take it off and it does not move. It does not transfer. So I do really like it. And I think I'm going to place an order for a few of the more natural looking shades so that I can actually use it because I don't see myself wearing purple lipstick, but I do think that this is actually worth it and that you guys are going to like it. The stickiness immediately goes away once you put the oily gloss over top of it. And I don't know, I think we might have found a real winner here. So that is it for this video. This was such a blast to film because I really was excited to try all of these products that I see everybody on TikTok raving about. I do have a TikTok account myself, so if you guys are on TikTok, definitely follow me on there. It's at Patty Alonso, not Patty C. Alonso because... I had a different account before. I'm not sure what I did. I couldn't get back into that account. So instead of Patty C. Alonso, it's just Patty Alonso, which I guess is easier. Anyways, I love you guys so much. Please comment down below what product impressed you the most out of everything that we tried in this video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed filming it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave. And I hope to see you back in the next video. Bye.